In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom product template for a memory mate by creating a design in Photoshop and uploading it to Zenfolio. To receive notifications about new tutorials and our weekly live stream, make sure to click the subscribe button. To get started, you'll first want to go to Selling, Template Designs, and Create New. Here, we can choose a memory mate from MPix Lab and click Create Now. When this page loads, we will need to get a little bit of information to determine the sizes needed in Photoshop. To start, we'll want to click Upload a Background Design. This tells us that the size must be 2400 pixels by 3000 pixels at 300 dpi and must be saved as a PNG with transparency. Given this information, we'll want to head into Photoshop and create a blank area by going to File, New, and plugging in these dimensions. The width should be 2400 pixels, the height should be 3000 pixels, and the resolution should be 300 pixels per inch. You will want to make the background color transparent. From here you can save the preset if you want as a memory mate template, then click OK. From here, I'll zoom out a little bit to be able to see the document a bit better. Then we'll create a solid color layer. To do this, I'll go to Solid Color and make the background black. Then you'll want to delete the layer mask because we are going to create our own. To make things a little easier on myself, I'm going to go to View, then New Guide Layout. First I want to check off margin and give myself a little bit of bleed area. I might set this to 100 pixels on each side, for example. From here, I want to set the columns and rows to give myself a guide to work on. You can do anything you'd like here, but I'm going to go with two columns and two rows to break this up into four quadrants. For the column and row sections, I will set the gutter to be 100 pixels as well. As you'll see, this will give you a general guide for a template, which we can then go in and fill in with text and image areas. You do not necessarily have to use this exact template I'm creating, you can make anything that works for you. Next, you'll want to block out the areas that are for your images. I will choose the selection tool and select the area I want the photo to be in. Then I can hold shift on my keyboard and select another area. What we'll do here is remove the color in these areas by making sure that the layer is still selected, click the create layer mask button and invert the layer mask by choosing Command plus I on your keyboard since it comes up backwards to start. Next, I'll drag in a logo. As long as it is a transparent image file, it should move over just fine. I'll resize it down into that black corner. I won't add a name or date at this point since that can be added in the Zenfolio side of things where each individual person can type in their own info. Now I'll remove my guides by clicking Command and H so we can see things a little bit better. When you're all ready, you will want to save the project file so that you can get back to it and then export this as a transparent PNG file. To do that, you'll want to go to File, Export, and then Quick Export as PNG. If you have an older version of Photoshop, you may need to go to Save for Web Legacy and choose the PNG option in the preset. You'll also want to make sure you've selected PNG24 and that transparency is checked. Then click Save. Now you'll want to go back to Zenfolio and upload the background design by clicking Choose File. The best part about this feature is that the placeholders we created in Photoshop are going to have placeholders in Zenfolio right in the area we need them in by default. From here we can go in and fine tune it a little bit. First, I'll move my background design on top because we want the photos underneath for sharp edges that will follow our template perfectly. Then I'll move the edges of the placeholders to fit perfectly. I like to drag the edges just past the edges of the templates to ensure that no white space will appear here. From here, if you wanted, you could add another text placeholder to add the student's name, for example. From here, we'll click Next, name the template something appropriate, and put it in the appropriate category as well, which for this would be sport, football. You can also take a screenshot of what the template looks like and upload it in the placeholders area if you'd like. When done, you can publish your changes if you're ready for it to be live, or you can just save it for now if you need to revisit it soon. 
In my next video, I'll show you how to make sure your template shows up as an option for your customers on their price list. This is Kayla with Zenfolio Customer Support. Thanks for watching and good luck with creating your own custom memory mate template.